and all of my healthcare brothers and sisters, I hope that y'all are having a wonderful day. We're going to continue this journey with the ATITs and we're going to start talking about measurements and conversions on the math portion of this review. In this video, I'd like to go ahead and extend an invitation for you to go ahead and subscribe to me down below. If you haven't already subscribed, uh, where have you been all my ATITs people? Make sure that you hit that big thumbs up to let other people know that are looking for the ATITs reviews that I'm doing a good job and that this information is helpful for you for passing your ATITs like a boss. Let's get started. So when it comes to measurement and conversion questions, it's vitally important in any healthcare program, especially in nursing, to understand how these conversions and equations work. You'll be required to understand how to process these conversions to be able to provide safe and efficient patient care through medication administration or simply other tasks. Measurements and conversion questions ask applicants to convert units of measurements between the metric system and the English system. So let's see if we can't figure that out. Let's start out with something that we all understand. Understanding the English system of conversions. The English system of measurement uses weight, volume, and length as units of measure. Weight is measured in ounces, pounds, and tons. Volume is measured in ounces, cups, pints, quarts, and gallons. And length is measured in inches, feet, yards, and miles. To understand conversions in the English system, you must know the equivalent measures in each step of the given measurement system to convert it to the metric system. Looking at the table, I've given you some of the common measurement equivalents. So for weight, 16 ounces is equal to 1 pound, 2,000 pounds is equal to 1 ton. Volume, 8 ounces is equal to 1 cup, 2 cups is equal to 1 pint, 2 pints is equal to 1 quart, and four quarts is equal to one gallon. For length, 12 inches is equal to one foot, three feet are equal to one yard, and 5,280 feet is equal to one mile. That last one's not really important, but I just put it in there just so you can get, grasp the concept of measurement equivalence. As with most things in healthcare, you're gonna be using the metric system conversions. So metric system of measurement uses weight, volume, and length, but it uses it in a different set of units for measure. So the basic unit of weight measurement is the gram, the basic unit of volume measurement is the liter, and the basic unit of length measurement is the meter. In the metric system, each unit of measurement starts with a prefix that indicates whether the measurement is smaller than or larger than the basic unit. Let's take a look at an example. Taking a look at the table, you can see on the fourth row down from the bottom, we have our basic units. We have our grams, our liters, and our meters. And then we have our prefixes all the way to the left. These are the numbers that let us know if it is more than or less than the basic unit. So we have the kilo, which is a thousand times greater than the basic unit. Hecto, a hundred times greater than the basic unit. Deca, ten times greater than the basic unit. Deci, one-tenth times less than the basic unit, centi, one one-hundredth times less than the basic unit, and milli, one over one thousand times less than the basic unit. If you haven't already checked out my previous video on how to understand and measure the metric system, I want to go ahead and invite you to click this link up here in the corner where I go over how to understand and how to remember these measurements so that way you can provide safe and efficient practice as well as pass your ATITs. So in order to convert between measurements in either the English or the metric system, you need to know the approximate equivalence between different units. Here are some of the examples that you might see in your healthcare practice as well as the ATITs. The metric measurement of one kilogram is equal to the English equivalent of approximately 2.2 pounds. The metric measurement of one liter is equal to the English equivalent of approximately one quart. The metric measurement of 2.5 centimeters is equal to the English equivalent approximately one inch. And lastly, the metric measurement of one meter is equal to the English equivalent of approximately one yard. Just like with basic units of measure, temperature is also something that is seen differently in the metric and the English system. In the English system of measurement, temperature is measured on the Fahrenheit scale. In the metric system of measurement, temperature is measured on the Celsius scale. Here are some of the examples that you might see on the ATITs. For example, freezing point, Celsius, which is metric, 
is equal to zero versus Fahrenheit, which is English, is equal to 32. Body temperature, Celsius metric, is equal to 37, and the English equivalent Fahrenheit is equal to 98.6. Same thing with your boiling point. Celsius is 100 in the metric system, and Boiling point in the English system, which is Fahrenheit, is 212. One of the most common systems of measurement within the healthcare system is deciding between Celsius and Fahrenheit for a patient's body temperature. Some systems will want you to know the Fahrenheit, while other systems will want you to convert to Celsius. In order to obtain the approximation of Celsius temperature from a Fahrenheit measurement, we subtract 30 from the Fahrenheit measurement and then divide it by two. There is a more precise equation in order to determine Celsius and that is C is equal to parentheses F minus 32 multiplied by 5 over 9. However, that's a lot of stuff to remember and it becomes very difficult. So one of the easiest ways that I suggest to people to get an approximation, especially when you're taking this particular question on the ATITs, is to just take the Fahrenheit measure, you're going to subtract 30 and divide it by 2 and that way you'll get an approximation of your Celsius temperature. And to finish off, we're gonna talk about measurement and conversions in regards to tools. The ATITs will be testing you on your basic knowledge of three categories. How you measure weight, volume, and length based on tools. So let's start off with the measurement tools for weight. Scales are used traditionally and vary in degrees of accuracy in regards to weight. Measurements for volume, use a couple different types of tools. One are pipettes. They're measuring tubes or drops to measure small amounts of liquid with high precision. Measuring cups, flasks, and beakers provide less precise measurements for larger amounts of liquid. And graduated cylinders vary in size and are less precise than pipettes, but more precise than measuring cups, flasks, and beakers. Measurement tools for length couple different things. Calipers are used for precise measuring to take measurements using two points. Rulers are the next more precise tool followed by yardsticks and meter sticks. Tape measures are used for measuring long distances and odometers measure the distance traveled by a vehicle and would be appropriate for the measurement taking in miles or kilometers. These are just some kind of basic measurement tools that you need to kind of understand. They are basic knowledge except for maybe the volume. So just kind of do a little research on these. Make sure that you understand these. They're not huge questions on the ATITs, but you will most likely see a question on this. So I just wanted to kind of give you some advice on how to take these questions appropriately. If you haven't done so already, I want you to head over to my website at www.nursechung.com. There I've got additional resources for you for your ATITs exam. That includes additional practice questions for you to take on your own if you're having some difficulty with these topics. I've also included the PowerPoints if you want to print those out and take notes as we're going along, and as well as the PDF of the Word document where, you know, everybody learns a little bit differently. Some people learn better with PowerPoint notes and some people learn better with just the Word document itself. So go ahead and go over there and check that out so that way we can pass this ATITs the first time and kill it like a boss. So I hope that this information was helpful for you to pass your ATIT's math portion of the exam. I'm going to start doing some Facebook Live videos of review questions and different topics on the ATIT's that may help you get a better understanding and get some additional practice in before you step in there and hopefully reduce that anxiety so that you don't have to worry about this. You know you're going to pass this like a boss. So go ahead and go on over there. Make sure that you like that page. That's facebook.com slash where I'll be posting when I'll be doing those videos. That's hopefully at a convenient time for you. If not, they'll go ahead and be posted down here so that you can kind of play along with me as we did over on Facebook, just kind of on your own, your own practice. But if you're not already following any of my social media, go ahead and check me out. I'm at Nurse Chung on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. But until next time, I hope that y'all are having a wonderful day and I look forward to speaking with you all again soon. Bye!